In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Rudiger row using Slippery Elm. This is a, a really good fiber to use with the Rudiger row. Um, the one in this video was still green when I used it, but trust me, I mean, it, it works really well with it. Um, here I just show you how I collected the fibers themselves. I just basically peeled back a few saplings and then uh, I separated the fibers. Um, I have a photo here coming up in a moment and you can see how I did that. I gave it about 30 minutes drying time but I'm going to tell you it was still green and very sappy. It was very sticky. There it is in the background. I apologize about the light in this video. I did not know that the um, camera was picking up the sunlight like that so it's blocked out but if you look in the background you can see where I have the the slippery M fibers laying on this block back here. Kind of in a rush with this video and I wish I hadn't because I had used this in the woods before with natural rolling surfaces. It's just that I was pressed for time and I wanted to uh, get this one out. I've been pretty busy here recently and when I throw out videos it's either sporadic or a bunch all at once because like I said I'm kind of pressed for time this year. Here I am just rolling it up and I showed a few moments ago that I used regular wood ash. Guys, uh, a little bit about the plant itself, Slippery Elm. Um, it's a very good um, medicine for codes and as uh, also a, I guess you could say a coating for the throat if you use it as a tea. Um, I've actually used it myself for a really bad sore throat and it worked amazingly well. It will coat your throat like no other. I'm, I'm serious. It was to me and it could be that, you know, maybe it was just my own personal opinion of it. Um, it just, it worked really well. I've also heard people use it for different GI orders um, to use as a poultice over top of bruises. And I think I read somewhere once that doctors back around the Civil War time would even use it to treat uh, gunshot wounds somehow. Now I don't know how that is. I'm not suggesting that you try this for any kind of uh, medicine or treatment. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I don't do that. If you <laughs> feel like you have an issue, by all means, you know, see a physician. But, you know, I'm telling you some things that I've read or at least some things that I've had experiences with. Here I have uh, an ember, or at least I may not, because I know that once it was giving me some trouble there with a piece of it wanting to spread out. But I believe, yes, I had an ember. It wasn't that difficult, even with it somewhat green and damp. Some of your wet ones like this or green ones make really hot fibers. And uh, <laughs> I believe it to be the steam coming off of them, more so than it is uh, um, the heat from the ember. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out, and, uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good night.